In this video, you're going to learn how to create a broad match modifier campaign and upload it to your Google Ads account using Google Ads Editor. I will also be sharing with you some very important update at the end of this video. However, you will only be able to understand that update if you watch the entire video. So just to recap and for those who don't know what the broad match modifier keywords are, here's an easy example to understand them. Broad match modifiers are broad match keywords and you simply put a plus sign in front of one or more words in a broad match keyword to make it a broad match modifier keyword. The words that are preceded by a plus sign tell Google that there must be a close variant of your keyword in the search for your ad to display. For example, if your keyword is gardening tools with plus sign at the beginning, then your ad can appear for terms like cheap gardening tools or tools for gardening. However, it will not appear for terms like DIY tools or plumbing tools. So broad match modifier keywords allow you to keep that balance between going completely broad and narrowly restricting your keywords to appear for search terms. However, I have more info on this at the end of this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the tools that we will need to create our campaign are number one, URL creator. We will use this to create our campaign name and tracking parameters that we will use in our keyword build template. Number two is our keyword build template. This is where we will prepare our keywords with tracking parameters before we upload them to our Google Ads account. And number three is the ad build template. Once we have finished uploading our keywords, we will then prepare and upload our ads using this template. Links for these spreadsheet templates are in the description below. So this is our URL creator. In the URL creator template, the first thing that we will need to do is include our final URL or the landing page URL where you want the users to go once they click on your ad. So in this case, I have I want people to go to this specific URL. So this is where we will include our landing page URL. The second thing is the site. The site is are the first initials of the business that you want to create this campaign for. In my case, this is SE. You can change this to whichever business that you like by going into the source and medium list and changing it on the column C here. Then you have the source. So you want to include in your campaign the source of the campaign where the traffic will be coming from. In our case, as we know that we are creating a Google Ads campaign, so we have selected Google Ads as a source for this campaign. Then we have Medium. Medium is where the traffic is coming from, whether it's coming as an organic traffic or it's a paid traffic. So whichever channel the traffic is coming from, you will include that channel in the medium bit. In this case, because we are running a paid campaign, which is a CPC campaign, so we will select CPC as our medium. The next two options here are optional. Um, the term are possibly you can add the keywords that you are targeting to be included in the tracking here or the content um, that you are targeting to differentiate that content with a different campaign. But in this specific um, tutorial, we will exclude this. We will not use these two options. The next thing we will use is the campaign. So campaign is the campaign name that you want to give to this campaign. So it depends on what kind of um, campaign that you are creating is it to do with say for example gardening tools or a specific um you know whatever your business is and whatever the product that you are creating this campaign for you can name that here so in my case i am creating this campaign for a service which is a threading treatment so i've added threading treatment as my campaign name to identify it then we have the target market so the target market is with the the targeting locations that you want to target um you know say you you are targeting a specific city or uh, a specific province if you are in canada um so it depends the area that you're targeting so in my case i'm targeting the entire uk so i have selected uk as my target market and lastly we have the placement tab so on the placement tab we will identify which kind of 
placement will this specific campaign bring traffic from will it be a display campaign will it be a search campaign will it be an email campaign so etc etc so in this case as we are running uh, we're going to create a search campaign so we will include search as the placement once we have done that we you can see that it has it will automatically generate a, a campaign name for you this will include your business that you're advertising for the source on which you are advertising the um, the campaign name the targeting placement and the uh, uh, the targeting location and the uh, placement type and also you will have a url uh, for the campaign name that will include all the tracking parameters um, so you can easily track this using Google Analytics or Adobe, whichever uh, analytics softwares that you uh, that you are using uh, to create your um, to analyze your campaign. So once we have created our campaign name using URL Creator, the second step is to go onto our keyword build template. Now this is our keyword build template, and the first tab is called Campaign Source Info. Now here we will need to include our campaign name that we have just created. To do that, we will just copy and paste it here. So once we have included our campaign name, we will then need to move, go on to our keyword list tab. Here you will see that the campaign name has already appeared across multiple um, cells here. Um, if you it depends on your keywords so if for example you are only using 10 keywords then i think it's pretty much um, it for you but if you got more keywords then you can simply hold this uh, select like the last cell and then just double click here to for it to uh, for the formula to be applied throughout the the spreadsheet and you can do exactly the same for the ad group tab as well but in my case i'm only using 10 keywords so i don't need to um, you know use this campaign name or ad group name throughout the spreadsheet so i'll just get rid of them so now we will need to go and grab our keywords that we want to use so i've got my keywords saved here so i'll just copy these keywords and paste them in the keywords column so once i paste the keywords in my keywords column you can see that the ad group are appearing here with that dash sign at the beginning of um, of the ad groups this is because the ad groups will need to have another component added to them which is the ad type now this is to identify which kind of campaign this ad group belongs to so because i know that in my case i'm using this for a threading treatment campaign so i'll just use the initials which are tt as the ad type so again i can just drag it down to the final keywords uh, which is column 11 here and that will automatically update the ad groups with a tt initial so when you will be seeing this ad group with an initial tt you know that this keywords belong to the threading treatment campaign then once you have added your keywords your ad groups are there your ad type initials that you have added you will need to then select the match type so now here let's say for example if we enter the exact match so we'll just put exact here and you will notice that exact has appeared next to this um, for the second column here again, again in front of the campaign name but because we are creating a campaign for a uh, for broad match modifier keywords so we will change this to bmm that stands for broad match modifier and we will just drag this down to until the you know the for how many of however many keywords that you have now that you have the match type included everything um, is appearing correctly here but there is one thing that we want to change because we have a formula that the the proper formula that that reduces the uh, um, the capitalization um, into a num lock so what we can do is we can change this formula and get rid of the bracket here 
to make it appear exactly the way we want it. So we want it to be in the caps lock. So we'll just move that across the whole campaign so it's all uniform. Now there is one problem with this um, template right now that even though we have added the match type as BMM, we have got the BMM appearing in our campaign name, but the keywords are still broad match. So in order to make them a broad match modifier keyword, what we will need to do is we will need to add a plus sign at the beginning of each keyword to make them a broad match modifier keyword. To do that, at the end of the template, you will see that there is a grayish um, column here and that has already got all um, these keywords with a plus sign at the beginning to make them broad match modifier. So we'll just copy them, um, these keywords and go back to the main um, keyword um, area here, the column here, and then we'll just paste these keywords here. But you can see that the ad group is also changed and we do not want this to be changed. So to get this, and this is changing because of the formula. So to get this right, the best thing for us to do is copy the campaign name up until the custom parameters copy that, create a new, temp, a new tab, paste this in the new tab. And now we can go back into our keyword list, grab the keywords, which are already, which already have the plus sign at the beginning of them, of them go back and replace these keywords with the plus. Now you've got a perfectly ready keyword build template for you to upload this campaign on your Google Ads account using Google Ads Editor. Once you have added the keywords, you got this ready. The next step is to select and copy the whole um, content from here. Go into your Google Ads Editor account, select the account level, and here, because we are uploading the keywords, select the keywords tab in the manage view. Click on make multiple changes and paste that data here. As you can see here, there's a campaign name, that's your ad group, that's your keywords, which are which have a plus sign at the beginning of them. And um, the criterion type is or match type is BMM and you can see the final URL, you can see the tracking template appearing there and the custom parameters appearing there as well. Now if you click on process, it will show you that there is one campaign added which has 10 ad groups and 10 keywords. So here you can see that there is um, uh, a warning here. It's not really an error message. It's a warning that says that the keyword match type is invalid and the imported text is a BMM. Um, but you do not need to worry about that. Uh, and I'll tell you why. If you click on finish and review, you will see that the keywords have already been added with your new campaign name appearing in the top view. And also on the right hand side, you can see that it has selected broad match type as the criterion for all these keywords. So if you click on any of the keywords, you will see that the match type appears as broad and the keyword also have a plus sign in front of them to make them a broad match modifier keyword. So once you have added your keywords and you're happy with them, you will also need to check that the tracking parameters and the uh, custom parameters have been included and imported from your um, template that you have created. Now, in this case, as we can see that they are appearing across all keywords, so there's nothing to worry about. So you can select keep to add them to your editor. Now, the next step, once you have added your keywords is to upload your ads. Now, in order to upload your ads, you will need to use the ad build template. So, which is here. <clears throat> 
now in the add build template you have um, in the final url um, creator tab you have the campaign and the ad group so these are the two columns where you will be adding the data and you, this data you will take from the keyword build template because we already have the campaign name and the ad group in the keyword build template so to do that we will go into our keyword build template and you can see that we have the campaign name and the ad group there we'll simply need to just copy the campaign names and the ad group from this uh, area here and then go back into our ad build template and paste that data there once you have added the campaign name and the ad groups you will need to go onto the adwords ad copy tab and you will see that the campaign name and the ad groups are appearing four times um, in one go so um, what i mean by that is eyebrow threading eyebrow threading eyebrow threading eyebrow threading so four times and then the next keyword this is because we will be able to upload four ads to be allocated to that one keyword that is included in this campaign so <clears throat> to start adding our ads the first thing that we will need to do is to select this drop down in the column a and select number one so this will just reduce down to the number one ad which has all the 10 keywords here which are the ad groups so now we will need to bring our ads and paste them here so this is my ad copy template now i have given the ads an ad number so again here the ad number is ppc dash tt which is threading treatment so i know that if it says tt it belongs to the threading treatment campaign and the other reason for using an ad number with your ads is because once your ad has been running for a few weeks you can download those ads and with the help of excel you will be able to see which ad has been performing better which has had the most ctr which has had the most convergence and so on and so forth and that's that comes very handy if you provide an ad number to your ad copy so you know that which copy is working well and you can use that with other campaigns and also to use that copy in your organic campaigns as well and get rid of the copy which is not working so now we'll just copy our first ad from here up until the path number two go back into the um, the ad build template and paste your ad number one here so now that you have added your ad number one here i've also, also already included the final url the way i want my users to go to but you will also need to include the final url in this bit here once you have added the ad against the first keyword, you will simply need to just copy and take it down up until the final ad group and you can press Ctrl D to duplicate this, D for Delta. So, so once you press Ctrl D, it will duplicate your ad across all of these um, uh, columns and ad groups. So we have added our ad number one. Now we will need to do is add our ad number two. This will be exactly the same process. So we'll just go back into our ad copy template, copy ad number two, go back into our ad build template, paste the ad number two, copy, scroll it down till the end uh, ad group, control D and that's our ad number two added. Then from the ad quantity, select ad number three, go back into our ad copy template, copy ad number three, go back and paste our ad number three. Oh, sorry. So, just one minute. So copy our ad number three and Control D and our last last ad which is ad number four we'll just go back copy our ad number four which is PPC TT4 go back control V copy and 
and control D. So now we have added all four ads to all of our keywords. Now what we will need to do is clear that filter and what you will see is each keyword has ad number one, two, three, four added with, uh, with, with one of the four ads. So all of the four ads are appearing against that one keyword. So now once we are happy with this, we'll just need to copy this from the campaign name up until the custom parameters, control C. Go into Google Ads Editor. Now, because previously we added the keywords, so we were we selected the keywords tab in our manage view here at the, at the bottom left hand side. Now this time we will select the ads because we are adding the ads and these ads are expanded text ads. So here we need to make sure that we are not at the campaign level, we are at the account level. And in the manage view, we will need to make sure that we have selected the correct ad type that we are uploading. So once you have selected the correct criteria here, you will just need to click on make multiple changes and then paste the data there. Now you will see that the campaign name, ad group and the ad number and the headlines are appearing there. You will also notice that it will show not importing on the ad number. Uh, but do not worry about it because it will upload the ad number as well once you process this information. You can see that each of these ads have a final URL, they have a tracking template and the custom parameters are also added to these ads. So once you're happy with this, click on process. So once you click on process, you will see that a confirmation screen will appear that will say expanded text ads and 40 expanded text ads have been added. Because we have 10 ad groups and each ad group has or 10 each keyword has four ads. So 10 multiplied by four is 40 ads. So you can just double check and reconcile that the correct number of ads have been added at this stage. Once you're happy, click on finish and review changes. So once the ads have been added, as you can see that they are appearing against this campaign and on the bottom left hand side in the manage view, you can see that the 40 um, expanded text ads are appearing. Now you will see that on the account level, um, if you click on the campaign tab, there is a error message in the red color that's appearing here. And I'll tell you how to fix that. So to do to fix that error message, what you need to do is go into the campaigns tab in the manage view. And then the reason why this was happening is because we have the budget missing for this campaign. So let's say I'm going to put 10 pounds as the budget for this campaign and press tab. And that will take away the error message that is that was appearing here. So now that we have the campaign ready, we'll simply go into the account level here on the top. Click on the post button on the right hand side on the top and you will see that there will be a screen here that will show you um, that there will be one campaign that will uh, go live on your Google Ads account which has 10 ad groups, 10 keywords. It is targeting one location and there are 40 expanded tax ads then you will simply need to post, uh, click on the post button to uh, upload these ads to your Google Ads account. Okay, so before I wrap up this tutorial, here's a quick bonus update regarding the broad match modifier keywords. So Google recently announced an update related to broad match modifiers and phrase match keywords. Um, so what Google is saying is that while people are searching for the same answers, the way they search for things is constantly changing. Therefore, broad match modifier and phrase match keywords will also match to words within the search query that share the same meaning as the keyword. So to make it simple, if you have a broad match modifier keyword, then Google will also match this keyword to other search queries that may not match the same words in your keyword, but share a similar meaning. Just like in this example by Google, which is lawn mowing service keyword, could be matched with queries like grass cutting and gardening service and rates for services that cut grass. 
even though both of these um, search queries do not match word by word with the actual keyword which is lawn mowing service but they could still possibly be a pair and uh, possibly a pair for the uh, for the keyword because they share the same meaning Therefore, when running a, be a broad match modifier campaign, you will have to keep a close eye on your search terms report to make sure that you're not wasting your spend on queries that are not related to your or your client's business. So to wrap this up, you will need to frequently monitor your search terms report as you may appear for queries that may not be relevant to your business. You will also need to use negative keywords to add any queries which are not relevant and you can add them to your negative keyword list to stop appearing for those search terms. This will allow you to reduce wastage. Also, you the best thing to do is target the most relevant keywords for your business and start using smart bidding if you can to make the most of your advertising budget. That's all for this video. I hope that you have learned something new. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.